Okay, so we're going to do the very first data table practice problem together as an example. So you're going to need the um, worksheet that I handed out. And the very first question that we're investigating or looking at is how does the type of oil, A, B, C, or D, there's no names for it, just letters, affect the amount of time it takes for a water drop to fall through the oil? So here's the data that was collected, A through D, and here are the different times that it took for the water to fall through the oil. So the first thing that you're going to do is identify the independent variable. So the independent variable for this experiment is going to be the type of oil. And I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and put the different types that they included there. And I think I want my answers to be in red. So I'm going to put my font in red there. All right, for the dependent variable, the dependent variable is going to be the thing that they measure. So they are measuring the, it says from my question, my, remember my question is always how does the IV affect the DV? So it's going to be what comes after the word effect. And it says that it is the amount of time for water drop to fall through the oil. So there's my dependent variable. I like to type my answers in red, so I'm going to make that red again. The number of trials is going to be the number of sub-columns. So when I fill out my data table down here, I need to know how many trials that they're doing. And I can see here that A, they let the water drop through one, two, three times. And they did that for all of the trials. How many levels were tested? How many levels of independent variable? That's going to be my number of rows. Well, they tested three different levels of IV, or excuse me, four different levels of IV, A, B, C, and D. So that's going to be four. So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to have to draw in my line. So always make a row for your heading. And then we learned yesterday from our screencast that we're going to make, oops, I don't want that. I'm making a video. It's just a practice one, so it's okay. I'm gonna make a column for my independent variable, a column for my summary, summarizing data, and those are both <laughs> going to be, Aiden, <laughs> those are both gonna be smaller than the middle because the middle has to be subdivided into the number of trials. So this is where my independent variable is going to be, this is where my dependent or er, summarizing data is going to be, and my dv is going to go here. Now I said that the number of subcolumns has to be three because I did three trials, so I'm going to have to take this and divide it. I'll make a line here so I can type in trials another line we're going to do three trials so we're going to have if i can get a new line made here we're going to have one let's just copy and paste that so we're going to have three trials man i really keep grabbing that box there don't i Let's try this. Grab this line here. Maybe. That really does not want to allow me to do that, does it? Alright, so there's my three trials. Then I'm going to need my four rows. So I'm going to have to draw a line for my four rows. I'm just going to copy paste that so there's my four columns now I am ready to write in do a pencil on this. Home. Mm. So 
So this is going to be my yes. You know how I had a bunch of uh, bug bites on my head? Yeah, I remember that. I think I've got some on my head too. Really? Great. When I was in the bathroom, I looked and there was a bunch of bumps on my head. I'll turn the light on so I can see. A bunch of bumps on my forehead. Oh. Hold on. How do I get this to? I don't think I'm gonna be able to see much. No, I don't know what to tell you, bud. Sorry. Hmm. 